My name is Riley and this is RDW Glass. Today in this video we're going to be going over how to create a single hole slider. Remember I love creating sliders so this one's going to be a really fun one for me today. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like in these videos, post a new video every single Tuesday. And remember that our glass, all of the art we make, is available at rdw-glass.com. rdw-glass.com so, as I said, it's going to be a single hole slider, and it's right here. So this is an example of a single hole slide. So you can see it goes down in a cone shape, starts big, goes down, it's like a funnel. And you see we have our single hole, hole right there. And that swirl around there is twisted cane. That's one of my favorite little signatures, my technique that I like to do. It's putting that twisted cane at the bottom of the single hole, and we'll show you exactly how to do that today because I think that it makes the pieces look awesome. Now, on this single hole slider, we have a mushroom handle. Now, I have video called Fun Guy, Fun Guy, and that shows you how to make mushrooms. And I also have a video called Mushroom Slider, and that is how to create a mushroom slider, nice and easy. And I believe that one we do a four hole. So this one's going to be quite different because we're doing a single hole. So there's quite a different process from a four hole and a single hole down here at the base. All right. And the style of handle we'll have on this piece today is a hammer handle. And that is my hammer handle. This piece is also available on the website. It's a four hole though. Yep. All right. So we're going to get right into it. We already have our we already have the handle created, the hammer handle created using IO star and light blue stardust. We took those two colors and mixed them together. Those colors are from a company called North Star Glass and they're available for purchase on mountainglass.com. And then today the slider we're going to be creating will be used, or we're going to use paparazzi. And that's from a company called Glass Alchemy. They have their poster up in the corner, which is kind of cool. It shows their colors and stuff. So we got our joint holder. You've seen this in other videos where we've made the other slider. And the joint holder, this one we're going to do a 14 millimeter because 14 millimeters are my favorite. So we're going to grab our joint, a Pyrex joint, nice thick glass. And we're going to put it right in there. Shove it in there, make sure it's nice and tight. All right, put that there for now. We have our water bucket ready. Got our punches ready. All right, let's get started. Put some glasses on. All right. So remember everybody, propane, then oxygen. That's how you tune your flame in. Make sure you stay hydrated. Got the RDW glass stickers. All right. do is I'm going to show you that twisted cane technique as well. So we have a video about twisted cane. So video. we're just going to take some twisted cane. I'm going to take a cool color combo right here. I'm going to take that color and that will be our twisted cane at the base. Alright, so now what we need to do is cut this excess off of the joint. So we'll start it right about there. And we're doing that. Yeah, we're going to be doing flame cutting. Yep. And then off. And we're just going to put that joint down over here or something. All right. And now we're going to take our punchy and pull that excess glass off. and blow to kind of pop the hole open. Okay. 
kind of a reamer right here ready. Please let me know in the comments if you guys like the uh, camera angles. I've been trying to switch them up, see what you guys like best. To make the twisted cane, even though it's twisted, still look twisted on the piece, you have to twist as you apply. And that's what we're going to do right now. You could do a whole slider out of twisted cane, it looks really cool. The whole thing funnels down. I always roll things on this, that way they're not like pointed at all. You can get that hot, melt it in, and press it. You can see we got a layer of twisty paint on there. And then, we're going to take that colored paparazzi we spoke about, get it hot. Keep this piece hot in the back. And now, we're going to slowly apply the paparazzi around. I even kind of twist a little bit when I'm applying color, even though you don't uh, need to twist it because it's not twisted cane, you don't need to make it look twisted. It kind of just helps the heat of the torch rotate all around this. And what we're doing now is building up a coil pot on top of that 14 millimeter joint. Now we have a video called how to uh, do a blowout. And that is when you take a coil pot and just blow in air into it. And that is what we're going to be doing to create this slider. So if you look at how to do a blowout video, it'll have you, you'll have even more information on how to do what we're doing right now. And so now we're closing that coil pot off. Take that last bit of paparazzi, like I said, roll it in there. Make it look smooth. Put it down. And now we turn up the heat a little bit. You see, and I have this reamer. I have our graphite marble mold ready. We're even gonna grab this. We have a uh, bowl push. This is for um, mostly for hand pipe bowls, but you can use it to create the the same method we used uh, last week to create the hand pipe video. You can use that same method where you pop a small hole once this is smooth and you use this to push it in, and that's for it called a push pull. And that is a single hole bowl too, but it's a single hole push pull. And that'll be a whole other video, I guess. And remember, your blow hose is hooked up, so you can puff air into this ball that is just getting so hot. And the reason we want it to get so hot is because there's creases, because you just coil pot it up. So in between every coil, there's like a crease. And if you don't get this all hot and melted in, you will have forever creases. And people want this to be smooth so they have proper funnel. Remember, gravity can be your friend. See, we're working it, getting something a bit smoother now. Now we want to make it all hot again, just to make sure everything's condensed and smoothed out. If your slider ever starts to slip out of the joint holder, 
let it get slightly cool and hit it in there. I know that sounds crazy, but that'll make it stay in there. And don't hit it too hard because you want to be able to take it out at the end. You have to keep the uh, joint in the joint holder at a weird point where it's not going to fall out and it's not going to stick in when you try to pull it out. Alright, I got that shape that I'm looking for, which is just an ever so slightly cone shape. And now we're going to turn, turn the heat down and we're going to get the glass hot right in here. Now we've showed in videos that if you get glass continuously hot in a tube, it thickens up and it closes in. And we're going to use that to our advantage. Haha. -ha. That happens when the oxygen hits the propane wrong. That was that pop. Yep, and I'm using gravity to let the glass fall back on itself. And you see every time I lose the balance, because it gets too hot, I come right back into the L marker here and just let everything stay straight. The evenness is very important in these because you want the funnel to work correctly. You have to keep your eyes right in here because you have to keep your eyes right in here because you want to make sure that that hole doesn't close up too thin and more and more you'll figure out the right size hole for functionality. Now what we're gonna do is work our heat right back to the top. And we're gonna pop a little hole. Now we have these mini jack style tweezers. Put them in there and push open. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're open. Now we have enough opening to put our reamer in there. Alright. So our hole is exactly the size we want it. If it wasn't, we could just heat back in here in that small section right there. And it would close in more. The reason I do it before I open the piece is because it's just so much easier to keep it precise like that. For me. Heat everything up and smooth it out. We want our hole to be slightly smaller than that. The hole at the bottom is a little too open. So you do get to see this technique. Now we're just heating up right there again.
much better. You put that in there to round it off. Oh, much better. You know what? I'd even like it a little smaller than that. This is very important. You want to make sure that the piece is going to make your customer happy. And to do that, you have to make sure the functionality is going to be nice for them and enjoyable. You don't want it too small where they have no airflow, and you don't want it too big where they have to, you know, mush their product together and pack unrealistic amounts just to function. Oh yeah, that's the size hole we were really looking for right there. 100%. Now we're going to work the heat back up to that top and we're just going to make sure that it's still cone. It's still like shaped like a cone right into that bottom hole. Make sure it doesn't look wobbly. this in there, make sure it's even circle up at the top. Oh yeah. Alright, now what we're going to do is get this piece a little hot. Make sure our shaping stays consistent. Now that the piece is glowy hot, we're going to grab our handle out of the kiln. Alright, now this is that IO star and blue, uh, light blue handle. It's going to be going right on to the surface. Alright, now we have both of them hot in the back. Alright. Side flames. Alright. Heat up a spot where you want the handle to go. And Remember, this is where our mini torch comes in handy. And then it's hard to tune this bad boy in. You clean up the connection. Make sure you're rotating the torch in there. As you see, my hand's wobbling around in there. The trick is to not go all the way around, it's to go from the top, and then the bottom, and then the side, and then the other side. If you go all the way around and get the whole thing too hot, it's going to start moving on you. And now you see, at our top, we have a dip, a dipped in right in there. So what we'll do... We'll take the slider, we're going to take our blow curve off, because we have the opening now. We're going to get the top of our piece hot, because we need it to all melt in now. Go out, let it melt in. Heck 
here. We just made a single hole hammer style handle using the colors paparazzi for the bull and IO star and light blue stardust for the hammer handle. There we go. That was perfect. All right. And we will see this up on the website by the end of this week. These are our heat mat, and we're gonna pull the piece out, and then we're going to pop it right in the kiln. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Make sure you give the video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. New videos every single Tuesday. If you're into glass art or you just want to, uh, you know, observe how it's made, or even if you want to get into creating it yourself, please join the channel because I want to help you get into it. Stay safe. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace, guys.